When I used to walk into Starbucks, the first thing I smelled was coffee. They made sure their employees didn't wear perfume or cologne when they're working because they didn't want it to overwhelm the coffee smell. They made sure the only thing you smelled was coffee. And then they introduced breakfast food. Melissa Allison covers Starbucks for the Seattle Times. In the past couple of years, Starbucks has started selling breakfast sandwiches in its stores. But it took many years for them to get to the point of actually rolling it out across their stores because they couldn't find the right oven for it. The ovens they were using were putting off too much um, breakfast sandwich smell, and they were afraid that was overwhelming the smell of the coffee. In 2007, Howard Schultz, the chairman of the company, wrote a memo to his top executive saying that he was concerned that many things had changed in their stores, including the aroma. He wrote that flavor-locked bags may have kept the coffee smell from being dominant in their stores. It was such a big deal that, that there were huge headlines. Advertising Age even had one that said Starbucks smells the death of its brand experience. Even though Starbucks has branched out into other areas, they have always said that coffee is their main business. As long as that's the case, they're going to have to take pains to make sure the smell of coffee is in their stores.